The motion capture technology uses infrared light that bounces off markers from our characters. We use that data and translate that into our 3D characters. I went to Mexico with a couple of guys from the office to do some research on motion capture. We were really excited about what it could do and we really wanted to bring it back up here to Boston. When we got the system here at Neoscape, we instantly started to integrate the technology into our film pipeline. We had to choose the right project to use it the first time. So we chose a project where we wanted to make sure that we were careful in how we framed the shots, but we wanted to use the people in a meaningful way to tell a story about what they do, were they shopping, walking, holding hands or not, enjoying a concert. We had a band playing there. and That just allows you to tell a better story of what this place could be. So after that project, we learned which shots work and which shots don't work with the framing and how close the characters are to the camera. We've applied this same philosophy now to about 10 animations, some of them with a lot of motion capture characters, some of them with just a few shots here and there where we cut far away and we continue the action of the green screen characters that you saw in the previous shot or a space mission and what that control room may look like and what people are doing. Are they pressing buttons? Are they standing up from their chairs or sitting and things like that? That may just seem simple and superficial, but it's actually something that now we're having fun with deciding what are people supposed to be doing and then enabling our clients to differentiate themselves and ask, hey, can we have someone do this? Yes. Our goal is that we don't let technology get in the way of people believing what they're seeing. And that way, our clients can focus on selling their actual product and then their clients don't get distracted by any of these other technological flaws.